How did cryptocurrency become worth more than the US dollar? A cryptocurrency is a type of payment that is exchangeable online for goods and services. Cryptocurrencies work by using blockchain technology which is a bank-free method spread across many computers that control and manage transactions. An advantage of this technology is its safety. The whole idea behind cryptocurrency was to hedge against the inflation rate among fiat currencies or currencies issued by government central banks. The increasing inflation rate suggests that every day the worth of your money decreases, which may not be the case for many cryptocurrencies as some of them have risen dramatically in value over the years. However, most of the cryptocurrencies out there are scams, but some of them are reliable. For example, Bitcoin, Ethereum, Ripple. To take the power of control from the government over people's money, these cryptocurrencies were invented. In the past few years, cryptocurrency has been hitting significant milestones. The current worth of one Bitcoin equals around 40,000 US dollars. It leaves behind all the US dollars currently in circulation. Could cryptocurrency replace the US dollar? The ideology of a digital and independent currency dates back to 2009, when it all started. While you are using cryptocurrency, you don't have to pay an extra fee just to send money to a third party like a bank. Actually, the scenario is even more substantial than that. The normal currencies claim to be digital, but still, you need to pay transfer costs when doing cross-border transactions. Bitcoin is truly global, along with negligible transaction costs. Moreover, normal currencies are controlled by the state, and the government is capable of producing a currency as much as it wants. The value of a currency is solely dependent on its production and economy. Bitcoin discourages the monopoly of fiat currencies and serves to be a currency-based way to oppose the government. For instance, USD is an enforced state monopoly and rules over all other currencies. With that said, it aims to give a tough time to the US dollar. However, Bitcoin is way too volatile to be used as money because of its limited production and fluctuating value. The supply of money should be never-ending, but the maximum amount of Bitcoin that can be mined is fixed. If cryptocurrencies want to challenge the dollar and other government-made money, there should be a stabilized value and the supply of them must be able to prosper as economies grow. How did it become big money? A major reason for its increasing worth is its limited supply, which is 21 million, unlike the USD which has the potential for an infinite number. The reason for trust among the people is that the transactions are performed directly between the users under the secured blockchain technology. There isn't a single reason for its high worth. Maybe it's the idea that fascinated people. Some economists say that it's the high demand and less supply that makes it more valuable. Also, in the pandemic, just like every other currency, the US dollar faced a visible decline which created a sense of apprehension in people. So, they started to think about investing in bitcoins and cryptocurrency, and now with each passing year, people expect it to replace the US dollars, but the process is not as rapid as it seems.